In this lecture series, I'm going to show you what a student sees when they access a chat room that you've added to your Moodle course. This will also show you how the chat room activity functions. To begin, start at the weekly outline. Please note that I'm signed in as our fictional student, John Smithers. Next, locate the chat room activity in the weekly outline. A chat room is signified by a little speech bubble icon. The chat room in our example is called the Hamlet Group Project Chat. Once you locate the chat room, click on it. You'll be directed to the chat room information page. This page is the home of any directions or information that the teacher provided when they first created the chat room. Now from this page there are two ways to enter the chat room. Uh, you can see them right here. It's the top two links in the middle of this page. Um, I prefer the top option that reads click here to enter the chat now. I like the interface better. So uh, click on that link to enter the chat room now. Cool. A new window or tab will appear with the chat located therein. Your page should look something like this. Now, you'll see that there's a right-hand column or right-hand panel. Uh, this shows which users are currently signed into the chat room. And right now, it is just John Smithers, a.k.a. me, the fictional student. Um, so right now, John Smithers is the only one in the chat room. Uh, this column will populate as students sign in. Now, towards the bottom left of this window, you'll see a little field, and this field is where users enter text that they would like to submit to the chat room. So let's just try entering some text. Once you've entered some text, what you do is you click on the send button, and that will send your text, there you go, into the chat room. Now there are two themes that each user can choose between when viewing a chat. There's compact, and compact is the theme that we're currently using right now. And then there's bubble, which looks more like the interface of an iPhone text message. Let's change the theme from compact, what we're using right now, to bubble. So locate the themes option just to the right of where you input text and send it. It's right here. Select Bubble from the two options. This should reset the chat and remove any text that has previously been entered. Now enter text to see the new theme. So we'll do the test, test, test thing again. See, I like this theme because it provides the user's picture and it just seems more visually appealing to me. Now once a user has completed or is finished using the chat activity, they simply exit the chat by selecting X in the respective window or tab wherein the chat is located. So just to exit out of this, all you do is click on the X. To return to the weekly outline, select the course's short name from the navigation panel. There you go. We're pretty good at that by now. And here we are, directed to the weekly outline. Um, congratulations, you have accessed a chat room and you have modified the theme.